I've been in Derby Cathedral now for just under a year and it never ceases to amaze me just how much activity goes on behind the scenes to support even just a normal everyday service. From the church wardens who actually um, gather together all of the stewards to welcome people to their seats, through to the administration team who've been working since Tuesday to produce the booklets, through to the flower arrangers who make the church look pretty, and the vergers who just do everything behind the scenes to make sure it's all clean, that the lights are switched on, and that everything is just so for people to feel welcome. It's a huge undertaking to actually run a modern cathedral. I mean, we like to describe Derby Cathedral as small, busy and urban, but above all, we're working and we're always working for care in the community. But we have to do that within really quite limited resources. And for that, we have a budget that we set every year, both for the cathedral chapter, so for the fabric of the cathedral, and also for the running of the coffee shop downstairs. And it's my job working with the staff up here to ensure that we spend the money that we get wisely, efficiently and uh, above all, actually quickly when it needs doing. There are many relationships that I need to keep um, ongoing as, part, as the administrator for Derby Cathedral. One of that is actually the relationship with the Cathedral Quarter and the other is the relationship with the Diocese of Derby. In terms of the Cathedral Quarter, footfall and extending stay in the Derby Cathedral Quarter is an essential part of what we do. We need to be attractive so that people actually walk up here and actually come to us, but then they also spend time in the local shops around and about so that the economy here continues to thrive. In terms of the Diocese of Derby, then it's my job as Cathedral Administrator to make sure that actually the Diocese knows what we're doing and equally that we know what they're doing so we can actually encourage synergy between the two organisations. If somebody was to ask me what my job is, say if I was sitting downstairs in the coffee shop downstairs just having a chat, I think what I would say is it's a kind of operations manager really. It's making sure that everything, whether it's in the centre or across at the cathedral for the non-religious aspects of the work, just runs smoothly and efficiently. And to do that, what that means is, is that sometimes you're sweeping up after somebody else as they've been through, or actually you're thinking proactively, what is it that's going to come and bite me and what do I actually need to be prepared for? No two days are ever the same and in one breath I can be talking to somebody who's really quite senior in the civic um, arena in Derby and at the other extreme and perhaps five minutes later I can be talking to somebody who's just sat outside on the cathedral step stopping people from coming in because they're a little bit worse the wear for drink. So it's a fantastic job, I'm really lucky to have it and I'm really lucky to work with such an amazing group of people, both paid staff and volunteers.